All right, guys, I've had a few questions about this throttle body right here and why it's connected to the brake booster. All right, guys, I've had a few questions about this throttle body right here and why it's connected to the brake booster. And why is it still in there? Because obviously the injection pump's right there and there's the, uh, the cable and the injection pump. So as if you notice, there is a uh, cable on the injection pump to the throttle body. Now I did this for a few reasons. First off, you know this is a 4BT, and you can put a um, a Dodge Cummings uh, automatic um, TPS on these guys. Now the problem is those those TPS sensors are expensive. The uh, the little plate to put them on them is getting kind of rare. And it's really just a hassle and you have to kind of keep up and replace those sensors but a factory gm tps sensor they're everywhere in the junkyard you know they're almost on everything this is originally was a chevy 350 in here i it's probably one of the most common tps sensors gm gm tps sensors ever made and they're everywhere and they're i've never had a problem with them so i decided to stick with the factory gm tps sensor and I also wanted to keep the factory cruise control. So to do this, I bolted the um, the throttle body there. The cables still runs the same. I did not have to modify the cable inside the inside the cab for the throttle. It's connected like factory. The actual cruise control, where is it at? Right here, works just like factory. And it's it's just. It was so easy. Now a lot of guys have to do this because they're drive by wire, and they don't want to redo the uh, the mechanism inside their uh, inside their car. So drive by wire, they usually have their drive by wire throttle here and then connected there. But even though mine's cable, I think it works out extremely well. I had to do very little work. I had to fabricate one mount right there, and it all works magically. I did have a problem with using different types of cables. I originally used a bike brake cable. And I went through two or three of those and it just didn't work. So I headed to the salvage yard and I picked up this cable right here. This is actually the uh, the throttle cable off a old Chevy. Um, I'm not sure which Chevy it was, but that's an actual cable. So it's being used what it's supposed to be used for. And it's worked well and it's never had to mess with it since then. It is kind of dirty. Um, and it is kind of hackish but it works well it keeps a factory functionality and everything works great so i i actually recommend it there was no fabrication i didn't have to fabricate a whole bunch of stuff to make this happen it wasn't a whole bunch of design work involved it was literally throw it up there and run my cable and it works so i recommend it